Welcome, my name is Kat, this is my channel Kat Can So, and this is episode th 13. To all of my current subscribers, I love you all and thank you for coming back. If you are new, um, I hopefully, possibly from my whip parade that will be going live in a couple of days, um, and um, I'm hoping you enjoy my little part of the internet where I get to talk about all my nerdy crafty stuff um to all my subscribers i'm so sorry it's been a while um this is gonna be short but i'm about to film a whip parade by short i mean this is probably gonna be 30 minutes because we know i ramble and i go on tangents and all of that jazz um it's been a while um my last video was in November, it was middle of November, I have been back from Australia for over a month. I actually have done a couple of attempts at filming and they just haven't worked and my brain has gone, nope, can't do this. So that's where we're at. Um, got a better camera. Um, it still seems to be flashing um, white balance. Um, don't know how to fix that I'm still working on these things um I remembered my mic today um though hopefully I didn't hit that and cause noises I haven't done a ton of stitching um but I've had two finishes and I'm close on three well close on two and I'm hoping to get a third um I'm going to talk some health stuff at the end, just basically give you an update on why I've been away. And let's get into the um, into the stitching. So as I said, I haven't done a ton of stitching. What I have done is a ton of organizing. Um, I have a fairly small alcove um, off our bedroom that I use to store and where I do part of my stitching. This is actually where I'm sitting now. Um, and as such, I don't have a ton of storage space and everything was just getting overwhelming, um, especially with doing the Black Needle Society boxes. You just end up getting a ton of stuff and I love it, but it's a ton of stuff. Um, so, the weekend after Thanksgiving, I pulled everything out. Um, I completely emptied my stitching area and went to Walmart, bought a bunch of um, plastic storage totes and I now have stuff in boxes that is easier for me to move and um, hopefully this will mean um, that some of my executive dysfunction that I suffer from is mitigated because I can find stuff without having to go through a pile of stuff and get distracted on the way through. But as such, it means I haven't done a ton of stitching. Um, my first project that this is one of my finishes, I don't actually have on hand, this is still in Melbourne. On purpose. Um, so this was stitched for my friend Donna, who I stay with while I'm in Melbourne. Um, my parents live well out of Melbourne, so she's where I stay when I'm in, in town. Um, so this is the Monopoly board from the Monopoly Money subscription. I'm, I think it was like the March subscription from this year. Um, and it has like 10 or something charts. This was one of them. It's small. This is in a 10 by, I've now got this in a 10 by 10 centimeter frame. Um, so this was by Spruce Craftco, um, which are an Australian company. I deep dived into all of their food charts, which I'm hoping to get done next year, but it will probably be 2025 at this stage. Um, so here is where I was. This is, um, not a lot. 
this is a couple of hundred of stitches of black. And here is the photo of it finished. This is just sitting in the frame. All I have done is cut it to size and put it in the frame. Um, when I go back, I'm going to attach it properly. Um, but this was done when I was leaving. I should have been packing for the airport instead of like cutting down the ADA. This is just on white ADA that I brought from Spotlight. And... Um, it's all just stitched in DMC. This only took me about four or five days to stitch, so it was a pretty quick stitch. And it's like eight colors, like black, blue, red, green. Might have been like 12. It wasn't many at all. Um, the biggest issue with this was I couldn't find the DMCs they needed for it, so I had to go to Spotlight and buy some new ones. As I am packing and I check the drawer that I don't normally put stuff in, I found a bag that had all of the flosses in it. It had the fabric in it because I was going to stitch this on an even weave. And it had um, a different project in it. Totally forgot I had this with me. Found it. And uh, yeah, that was annoying. But so be it. It is what it is. And I now have backups of all of those, thread, those threads. They're mostly colours I use a ton of anyway. Um, next up is another finish. This is the Monopoly Minis page from the same booklet. I'm going to put the booklet, if I didn't on the last one, I'm going to put it again here. Um, and these are, um, so again, Spruce Craft Co. And... Here we go. So these are stitched on just white perforated paper using DMC. So we have the go, the top hat, and the houses. Um, well, I guess house and hotel. I think they're just houses. Um, I got the outlines done while I was in Australia and most of the grey. That was as far as I got. Um, I did run out of time. But spent like two more nights on these and got them finished. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to finish them. I'm either going to make them into ornaments or um, magnets. And then she'll take these home with her when she goes back. Um, she's coming to visit in September. So that's pretty neat. Um, and they are my finishes. Um, next up is, I am just p working by the, the pile next to me. I don't have these in any specific order. Um, though this is one of the projects I have worked on the most. And this is on a Christmas. This was the Forbidden Fiber Co. Advent um, chart. And I stayed up to date till like um, one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm up to, I got like the sixth day mostly done. I have to just do the extra red dots up the top here. Um, so I've got about four days to go on it. Um, all up, I think I've got maybe seven or eight hundred stitches left to go. Um, so this is on a Christmas. This is from Forbidden Fiber Co.'s um, Christmas Carol Advent Box. So we were getting a color and a new copy of the pattern with the new color added every other day. And then we were getting like little bits and pieces. Um... We got the fabric, we got the needle miter, we got the project bag, which is so cool. That is glittery, guys. I think that is sparkly. Can we get it to sparkle? Of course not. That would make life really interesting. There we go. Um, uh, we got um, scissors, we got a thimble, we got a fan, um, marzipan, an ornament, 
um, a pin cushion slash Oort's jaw um, seam ripper I don't remember the last couple of days um, but it was a really cool box um, I'm not sure I'll do it again next year it's going to depend on what the theme is um because like last year was Polo Express and I probably wouldn't have done that even if I knew about it earlier um I kind of I've never read A Christmas Carol um and I mean I've seen a ton of movie or tv versions I may know the Muppet version by heart We may have watched it Christmas Eve and introduced my in-laws to it. Um, but um, overall, I really like the box. It's just this may not necessarily have been my exact cup of tea on design. Um, mostly because um, I really like the design. I'm just not a huge Christmas Carol fan. Um, but here we go. Here's where we're at. Um, so there are some more snow to go down here. I have um, the two colours for the face. Um, it's like two flesh tones. And then um, a blue that we'll do. Um, I will honour. Um, I will hold Christmas in my heart and honour it all year long. Whatever the, the line is from A Christmas Carol. Um, so, and then this was the needle miner that came with it, and then I just have another one on there because I've been using it to hold the patterns. Um, so this has been one of my living room projects. Um, I got really frustrated with the white with all the snowflakes. I mean, I totally, you're supposed to pin stitch it, but I totally... see it through the fabric um so um I think I've got like four colors still sitting here um yeah I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to honor and try to keep it all year all it all the year um so I have four and a half colours left to go. I've got about a thousand stitches. Um, so that is not too shabby. I mean, this blue, this is the blue that we do all the writing in. And how pretty is that? Um, that is called Cratchit. Um, and there's... A maroni red just for filling in a bit of details on the jacket um, that is Ebenezer, yeah. um, I keep until I stitch them I keep the pattern in and the color in with the page because I am trying to do each page each color complete the color complete and then um move on to the next one i do have as i said about 10 or so of one color left to do at the top because i haven't needed to move the frame and i'm not moving the frame for 10 stitches um those will get done when i get up to, when i move it up to the top to do all the writing so that was a longer ramble than i was planning on but that's where we're at. Um, so I am hoping to have this done by the end of the year. It's probably going to be a mid-January finish. Um, just because um, I have a project that is very close. Um, the next project I worked on was 
Red Lady Pirate. Um, this is by Mirabilia. I have got something either on the back or on the further on the further. Um, so here is the chart or the finish. And here's where I was. And here is where I am and I got about 500 stitches on there there wasn't very much um, I'm almost 75% done and about the last 10% is beads because this has a lot of oh, beads and whisper because I'm doing the whisper I'm going to do the whisper and then I'm going to do the beads and like all of this here and down here and there's a bunch that will go in there so I have completed another couple of colors I completed um, all of the purples they're all done I completed the golds so and I nearly completed the red so I am still kind of working across. Um, I was just doing prompts that me needed me to work on certain colors. So that's what I was doing. Um, this is stitched on 28 count Tropic Waters by Live and Die LA. Um, this is from Angus Little, um, Angus Little Needle Minders in a me made guard and a stitch toolbox off Etsy project bag so that has everything in there for me to go I'm so close um, this will get this is one of my goals to finish in 2024 um, it probably won't finish until July um, I'm probably going to try and get it really close um, with the goal of finishing it during um, Fogwarts so I can get the points there so next up is Celtic Christmas and this is another so close to finished it's not funny um, this is by Lavender and Lace stitched on 28 count cashel from uh, Stitches and Spice, which is an Australian company that no longer exists. Here she was before, and here she is now. Um, guys, all I have left is the beads. Um, so I had been focusing on the bottom there. Um, I do need to change the frame, the sidebars. Um, so what I will do is I will put her into smaller sidebars, do as much as I can to fill that, expand that, do as much as I can, put it into these in the smaller sizes, expand, and then just the bottom. Um, I find that way is the easiest for me to keep it flat without um, the scroll bars going over the beads. And um, there's about four. 1400 beads to go I'm at it's 10% I have not I'm not at 90% I have 1200 1400 I don't remember the math um, well according to this it's 1700 I think I'm missing a day stitching in my photo I am um, it's 1200 um, so I've done about 1700 stitches in the last month and a half which isn't a ton but as I said I barely stitched and kind of been focusing on other projects um, but she's getting close um, these are ground guards from Margaret Lee Minders 
Um, this is from the Black Needle Society. Um, this was from the Nice List. I love it. And this is from Ginger Stitch AU. And it is in Lash's Black Needle Society project bag. Um, and then last but not least, well actually I have two projects but they're both in here, is my Mill Hill kits that I'm trying to get finished. Oh, I still have Christmas earrings in here. Obviously I took this with me and I took them off. Um, so... First up is Frosty. And um, I did a little bit of this at work and then I did most of this. Um, we went to a friend's place and watched Zero Hour and Aeroplane on the 27th. And where is my cardboard? You know what? That's under the pile of stuff that I just put out. And there we go. So there's Frosty. So still have to do the beads, but all the crosses are done. Um, there is a tiny little bit of backstitch I will do first, but I didn't have great lighting um, as I was like doing this while everybody else was watching movies. And then... Um, the other one I've done a tiny little bit on is Glowing Pumpkin. Again, I am hoping to have this done by the new year. I have about a hundred stitches left and then it's just beads. And I basically just have to fill in this section here with black. Um, and even then it's not fully filled in. Um, and then it's beads. So... Uh, probably tonight I'm going to start doing a ton of beading. Um, yeah, I just got to backstitch his mouth. Um, so that is all of my stitching. Um, there's going to be some edits and jumps all over the place in there, mostly because I forgot to grab projects and I forgot to give the details on a couple of them. Um, again, those two mill kits just stitched on perforated paper and these are in a Black Needle Society um, vinyl pouch from the Steampunk box in 2021. Um, I have a little bit of haul and a little bit of stitching kindness. Um, the first up is my haul and that is these. Sorry, my haul is on the ground. Um, these. Um, I got these from Etsy. I got these from, um, so I think they are made by Stitching Wonderland. Um, I have the details somewhere. I don't remember. Um, I did buy them from sort of a reseller, but same price. Um, these are magnetic frames. Um, so it just has a bunch of magnets on there and on there and then we'll hold your small projects really well so um these are a game changer it gives me something actual i cramp in here doing mill hill kits i don't cramp because i actually have something to hold now um, I currently have two. I'm probably going to order another couple. Um, these ones are for the bigger, like, buttons and beads kits. Um, these are perfect for ornaments. So, I'm probably going to grab another one of both of these. Um, because I do have, um, project bags, um, with multiple. I've got, like, more... Mill Hill kits in project bags. Um, some I have started, some I have not. Um, but they don't add a ton of weight to my project bag, but life, life changing. Like, 
I never would have been able to stitch as much as I did on Wednesday without like my hand cramping so badly um, and because of those I was able to just keep stitching um, I totally forgot to show the cover image for glowing pumpkin so there's the cover image for glowing pumpkin so that gives you an idea of where we're at there we go so um a lot of those worlds are beads so um i have finished all the orange um next up haul um i got i can't remember if i showed these on the last video but i ordered a couple more needle minders from inchworm designs i got a little cartoony turtle and i have no idea what style you call that but i love it um they're not currently on projects i do not have projects to currently put them on because i am still sorting everything out um, I also did an order from Silks for You. Um, I ordered three of their needle minders. These are iridescent and they're just going to blow out. Um, so I got the tail in blue, in the teal and the green, and I got the dragon scale, which is this middle one here. Let's see. Like this. So shiny. Um, in the purple. Um, I also ordered some silks um, I ordered their bit bag which is a series of skeins in you know a random collection of colors um, so this is what I got and oh my god it's so soft um, don't know what any of the colors are I haven't looked them up um, sometimes it'll be you know leftovers from a custom order leftovers from their um, the packs sometimes it's mist eyes it's like could be anything so there is the silks I got um, of these this one is my favorite it is a purple um a teal and maroon um is the maroon washing out kind of let's see what happens if i put it in front of the card yeah, you're kind of losing the teal um but these are so pretty um i have no idea what i'm going to do with them i just wanted to do something with one of their silks before i break into this um so this i have purchased specifically for a project um i purchased the pattern and zach from long dog sampler um this is her pattern or their pattern that does um, all the Australian and New Zealand animals and this is the silk I got so it is a coppery red through to a dark grey um, this is the full hank um, so it is amazing. I have a ball threader, so this will just get balled up and probably broken up into slightly smaller skeins. Um, but she pretty. Sorry. Um, so through the copper, silver, kind of a gunmetal, 
an end to a pinky red. Um, so, yeah, I think this will... Um, this will work nicely. I haven't decided what colour I want to... I want to do it on a, like a reddish-brown, like... Like, the, the traditional, like, Outback red colour. Um, but keep it real toned light. Um, so, like, the, the floss pops. Um, I may even try to do it as a... With a grey. Sorry for the crinkles. Um, and see what I get. But at the moment... Um, it's on my list for next year's starts, but I am trying to avoid new, um, I'll go in at the end. And last up, I have, I got a Pinky Promises project bag that's Walking Horses embroidered. It is gorgeous. Um, on this grey and then it is lined um, I have a project in it because I needed a project bag <laughs> because I'm trying to sort out for my whip braid um, sorry, it's like a grayscale with Santa and the reindeer um, but this bag is stunning um, so definitely chink out Check out Pinky Promises um, on Etsy. Um, it also came with some floss drops, which I have not transferred yet. Um, so um, I have been keeping an eye out for a design that I like. Um, I now follow Pinky Promises on Instagram and post that this was posted. I'm like, I have to get that back. So I did. And last up on my haul is so I got the nice list from Black Nando Society. I got the um, Forbidden Fiber Co. Advent. And on a whim, I also ordered the Arm and M&M &M Winter Wonderland set. So I still have two days left to open, which is day 30. And then the partial hank, hank, I'm not sure how much is in there, for day 31. But this is what we have so far. And the colours are amazing. Um, my favourite is this one. This is called Tiffany Blush. It is a white base with a pink and blue um, speckle through it. So... It is so pretty. Um, I also really like this one, which is Sugar Plum, which is a cream with a couple of shades of purple. And I mean, honestly, there's only a couple of colors in here that are like very much. Mm, um, I don't love, but you know what? Sometimes they help lift the colors you do love. Um, this is one of those, this is a white with a black and a yellow, um, called Honey Stinger, so, you know, it's B, um, but the black has gone very green, so it just doesn't, and then this one here, it's stunning, it's just not me, this is called Mistletoe, it's a very, um, actually that's pretty good, um, it's a very pale yellow green, so, Overall, I'm loving the colours. Um, as I said, there's just a couple in here that I'm like, hmm, that's not me. But it's just not me. And there's nothing wrong with the colours. It's just not my jam. Um, so, yeah. Um, I have been enjoying opening those every day. I've also been doing a... Um, cheap Amazon uh, diamond painting kit which honestly I've done today 17 and I still have to do the rest of them 
and it's the 29th. I haven't even pulled them out of the box. I have no idea what the patterns look like, what the signs look like. Um, I may put on some critical role and do that later while I'm uh, editing my whip parade because I've got to put in a lot of pictures. So that is where I am for haul. I have a couple items of stitching kindness. So as I said before, I'm a member of the Lala Stitches group um part of the southern california stitches um we just we meet up they meet up every saturday in um studio city i make it maybe once a month maybe once every couple months um i'm not a morning person i mean it doesn't start till 11 30 but you know when you don't get moving to like one o'clock in the afternoon it kind of seems pointless um, but we have just celebrated one year. It was actually while I was in Australia. Um, but they love me. So I also got a goodie bag. And oh my gosh. I have ideas. I want to add something to this for next year. Um, sorry for all of the crinkles. Um, the people in this group have skills. Um... To start with, we have a tag. It's a wooden tag. I can use it for a small finishing. There is the La La Land stitches um, pin, which um, patch, which will probably end up going onto a um, like a tote bag or a project bag. I'm working on those. Um, Snack chopsticks. Um, a handmade card. It is a blank card, so I can use it. Um, but this is all done by one of our members. Um, I should have wrote down who made which because they are amazing and very skilled, lovely people. We have scissors and a scissor fob. I know the scissor fob was made by Lisa. Um, but apparently this was her first, attempt, like this got it was like one of her early attempts in beating and my gosh so pretty um, I was not expecting to get this because you know I wasn't there for the meeting um, they did a they did a get together and a bit of a tour around a bunch of places they went to a couple of quilting stores and a couple of um, network stores so um um, little bag this is just a cardboard bag made out of somebody who does paper craft but so cute um, needle miter I think I'm holding upside down and matching scissor fob slash keyring pattern and um oh this actually tells us who made what um so the pattern was designed by rena the needle minder and the zipper pull were from erica um the patch was also by erica the scissor fob was lisa um Oh, the needle graveyard so this is just a salt shaker um, with a bunch of beads in it I'm already using it to put needles in 
um, was by Christine. The Paula was the instigator for the chopsticks. And last up, we have a pin cushion, um, which was from. doesn't say oh and the card was made by Susan um, oh and Lisa also made the floor story so all up this was a very unexpected surprise um, everybody is so talented um, I do have an idea of something I would like to do for them next year um, but um, I have to work on that um, and I have to find a fabric that will work for what I want to do. Um, also at the meeting, the last catch up I went to, which was the one before Christmas, um, we got a couple of little gifts. Um, not so much stitching kindness, but chocolate! Um, Susan, with her amazingness, made these little crackers. Um, she must have a die or a, that cuts these out. Um, and then there was some chocolate in there that I have not eaten. And then Lisa made these. Um, we actually used them for our... Um, we left right center. Um, one had the silver star, one had a white star. The white star went first, silver star got a bonus um, uh, skein. Um, we're doing this in the middle of a Panera bread, it was so much fun. Um, so, yes, totally amazing people who have amazing skills um, that I do not have, but I have skills I would like to introduce later in the well I guess next year at this stage um last up this one's not technically stitching but I'm going to use it for stitching and also I just needed to show everybody the amazing work of my friends so I helped a friend out with some theme park tickets and um while she was not able to go um her kids and Husband had an amazing time and she made me this. She turned this herself. Um, so it's a bowl, the lid with the rebel bird on it. Um, she's a better friend with my husband than with me. Um, but we know them through the Star Wars, uh, Star Wars lines. Um, so just how cool is this so this is maple um so um i'm not sure yet it'll probably end up being another oat container because my oat jar is nearly full um but totally unexpected totally like came out of the field because you know i was just helping somebody out um, but definitely appreciate it and um, just need to share the skills so there we go um, so that's all of my haul all my stitching kindness all of my stitching um, I may have forgotten to mention my fabric for on a Christmas that is on counting house which was part of the set um, so just a couple little things. Um, so said health would be at the end. We now get into that portion. So if you want to go away, thank you for joining us. Have a happy new year. And um, I can't wait to see you in 2024. Um, so health, uh, as I said, I'm suffering terribly from executive dys um, dysfunction right now. Um, I would often go, I want to stitch. And then not stitch anything because I had too many options. 
so what we have done is we now have a whiteboard on our bedroom door whiteboard um, and I have two projects in the bedroom and two projects in the living room because I will I use my Lowry out there while I'm watching stuff from the husband and then I use my floor stand in here though I have been using my floor stand in the living room the last couple of weeks or oh, just trying to get Celtic Christmas finished um, and it is nuts um I was getting nothing done but hopefully having this um I've actually only got three projects in the rotation right now the and plus my mill hills which are in my work bag um because I'm trying to convert a get everything converted for neck my my projects I want to do next year converted into pattern keeper um so I've been actually been doing a ton of that um I finally finished Electrical Light Parade. Um, I think that took somewhere in the Sydney about 20 hours all up. It is a lot of stitches um, and it is dense stitching. It is going to look amazing. That is one of my 2024 new starts. I've also been trying to kit projects. Um, I have a spreadsheet that has all of my DMC threads, or actually has the entire list of DMC threads. And then they are marked whether they're in hay projects or not because my hay projects I just keep in the bobbin boxes. I actually have like five bobbin boxes, three of which are for hay projects, two of which are for the stuff that is not hay because I have seven hay projects. Um, uh, hay is Heaven and Earth Designs for anybody who is not aware of that. Um, and as I said, I also did a massive reorganization. All of my charts are now in one box. All of my fabric are in one box. All my needle, like my um, diamond painting stuff is in one box. I have a box of like pens and highlighters and notebooks and all of that kind of jazz. Um, I have a box that is just all of my... Um, Q snaps. I'm probably going to be trying to de stash some of those because I've been collecting them, so I had one for every project. But dropping down to four projects, I only need four sets. I am keeping one of my big sets, I am keeping one of my hades on them. Um, I'm also going to start a new hade later this year. It is not a new start, it is a restart. Um, I have another box that is all of my beading stuff. Um, well, most of, all of the peripheral items for beading. Um, it has like my wires and my um, pliers and things like that because I have another container that I keep all my beads in. And then I have a box that is all of my um, kits. So all of the, when I say kits, I mean projects that I purchased as a kit. Oh, um, there was one more project. Um, before I left Melbourne, I also got the second, a second one of these. This is um, Waratah. So this will go with the Waddle. These will probably stitch not next year, but they're small. So who knows when that will happen. Um, then... Um, I have a bunch of like storagey bat things. So this one here. Um, my coffee table has baskets. Um, one side has diamond painting. One side has all of my beads um, because I have way too many embellishment kits. Um, and then I got one of these that has four dividers in it. So this has scissors, needles, um, what do you call them, needle threaders, and then like just small um, accessories. Um, so, and then the other one has bigger boxes. This one at the moment has all of my counting pins and the extra screws and stuff and the um, shifter for my um, floor stand so and then I have a bunch of these 
Um, so this came as a six pack of, um, they're actually like a lavender color, they look great on film. So this one is all of my frost drops. Um, I have one that is all of my finished projects that I just need to um, fully finish. Um, I, when I say finished projects, I mean um, Mill Hill kits. Um, I have another one that is all of my to-do Mill kits, Mill Hill kits. I have one that is all of my small charts. So it's the teeny weeny bikinis. It is like anything that was too small to go into a binder. Um, I can't remember what's in the last one in there. And then what's in the other one over here? Oh, one is, um, so this, this one is all my small projects. This one is all, like I have two that are small projects plus another one that is Mill Hill Kids. So it's just like small charts, not necessarily small in size, but the actual chart itself is quite small. Um, so just trying to, this way when I'm like, oh, I should finish some projects, I just pull out. I can't pull it out because that's what the camera is currently sitting on. Um, the only one that's nothing sitting on is the one that is all my kidding stuff. So where I have been kidding projects, that has been on my desk. I put it away for this. Um, if I want to do a Mill Hill kit, I just grab the box of Mill Hill kits and go through and work out which one I want to do. Um, same with this. Like, I just want to work on a small project. Go through them, make a decision. Um, what do I have fabric for, basically? Um... So yeah, I'm getting there. Um, I was going to do plans. I'm going to do that as a second video because this one is quite long. Um, I do have a lot of editing to do in this. Um, but it is still quite long. Um, so I will be posting probably on Monday. Um, I may try to do my whip parade to go up on Sunday. And then my plans video to go up on Monday. This will go up tonight. Um, so I'm really glad to everybody who has stuck around. Thank you for dealing with me. Um, this has been a bit of a, a long haul. Um, I still have to film my whip parade. Uh, but I need to put these files on my laptop first. And then film my whip parade and then I will film my plans video with the intention as I said of those going up on the 31st and the 1st. Um, oh I have like haul I have some new charts but you'll see those in the um, in the plans video. Um, so I hope everybody's had amazing holidays or good holidays or survive the holidays whatever applies to you um i mean i work 10 days on 10 hours on christmas day so and monday is probably going to be monday's at least eight um possibility depending on how busy it is also going up to 10 i don't mind double payday um but thank you to everybody who is been supporting me um, I am going to try and be a little bit more proactive on Instagram. Um, my, I don't remember if I mentioned this at the start, but the design for the logo I did totally steal from Stitch by Liz and Miss, um, the, my Instagram and stuff, um, I stole from Stitch by Liz and Miss Chloe SW, um, that is amazing, I am stealing it, um, I'm going to put it here again so everyone knows what I'm talking about. They are tagged in the description box. And hopefully everybody has a happy new year, has a good new year, survives next week. Not all.